The best coats and jackets from 2018. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you're new to my channel, my goal through my channel is to help you look like you have your act together, even if you don't, but you can look like you do. So today I wanna share the very best, my favorite jackets and coats from 2018. This is a category that is very near and dear to my heart because some of us are bag people, some of us are shoe people, and some of us are jacket people. I am for sure a jacket coat girl. I love jackets and coats. I really do feel as though a jacket jacket or a coat can totally transform your look. And to me, it's one of the most important elements to your look. So I like to have jackets and coats that really complement the outfit and also obviously have the functional component. You have to stay warm. So I want to start with jackets and then bump over to coats. So I'm going to do five jackets and then five coats. So it'll be 10 total. There will be a bonus at the end. So be sure to watch all the way to the end. And if you do like this video, I hope you will hit that subscribe button so you can see more just like this one. All right, coming in at number 10, I wanna talk about Doma leather jackets. For those of you who are regular viewers, you'll recall me talking about Doma leather jackets. They're an incredibly soft, high quality leather jacket, and I own a few Doma leather jackets. That's how much I like them. I usually pick them up on sale, so I'll look at Nordstrom Rack or Neiman Marcus Last Call or one of the outlet stores online, and that's where I find them. I just do searches periodically for Doma leather, or I set a sale alert through Shop Style, which you can do as well. But when I found this one, I was just so happy. It is a burgundy Doma leather jacket with a zip in, zip out black hoodie. So you can obviously zip out the hoodie or you can leave it in. It just has that like edgy coolness about it, sort of street chic. It's really versatile, it like jazzes up t-shirt and jeans. So it actually looks like a real outfit instead of just something really basic. And I just love it. And that would be my fifth favorite jacket for the year. Okay, so coming in at number four for the jackets is my Joie leather jacket. That is a black leather jacket. It's probably the one that I wear most often. It's the most versatile. I've had it the longest. It was my first real moto jacket investment purchase. And it's just a beautiful lambskin leather. It is incredibly well made. It molds to the body. It does run narrow on the shoulders, which I actually like, but you may not if you have really broad shoulders. And it's just been a really heavy hitter in my wardrobe for years, but especially in 2018. Let's take a look at that one. Okay, so here's the black joie jacket. Another thing I really love about this is it's super classic. There isn't a lot of hardware. There's not a lot of zippers. So it feels a little bit more versatile. The next jacket I wanna highlight is the Smith Duchess blazer. This is actually one that was made famous by Princess Kate, and she has it in a few colors. This blazer is definitely like Veronica Beard pricing. It's expensive, but it's so beautiful, so well made, so chic. It's a shorter hemline, so if you're on the petite side, it really is fabulous for you in terms of length, and I would say it also runs kind of narrow. My favorite part about this blazer is this little cutout in the back. There's a little kind of just square cutout. It looks so good with dresses and skirts. It looks great with jeans. It's just a beautiful piece. I think that if you were looking for a blazer that's this color that has that same kind of pop, I would go over to Zara and look in Zara or go to zara.com, and I think you can find something very comparable. Maybe not the same level of quality, but definitely comparable and definitely in the same color family that will definitely add some pop and interest to your look. See the sleeves run a little bit shorter and also the hemline is shorter. I'm 5'4", so this is really a perfect hemline for me. And I love how tailored it is. It nips in at the waist. And then if you're wearing it like over a black dress or over a dress, you've got that little peekaboo cutout in the back that frames a skirt. It just is so cute and modern and gives it something a little bit different. Beautiful hardware, it's all gold hardware. You know, if it's good enough for Princess Kate, I think it's good enough for us, right? <laughs> 
Okay, this next jacket I want to talk about is one that I did talk about in my overall favorites for 2018, and that is the Veronica Beard Scuba Blazer. I have talked about it ad nauseum. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing about it. It's a beautiful fabric, doesn't wrinkle, super high quality, zip in, zip out dickies. You can interchange your dickies. For those who don't know what a dickie is, <laughs> which some of you wrote in the last video, Google it, you'll see pictures. It's just the coolest thing. It adds the layered look to your outfit without adding any of the bulk. And that's what I love about a dicky. Also, you can totally change the look and change the way your outfit looks by using a different dicky. So this one is for sure a heavy hitter. It's definitely very versatile. And I think that in terms of, you know, where to spend money, I think that this one is a worthwhile investment piece. More for the sake of versatility and how often and, and how uh, well it will seem mostly integrate into your wardrobe. Okay, can you see with this jacket, it is longer. So the other one came right to this t-shirt line. This one definitely has more coverage on the hips, which can be great, especially if this is more of your problem area, but also it can be problematic if you have shorter legs and a longer torso, that's just going to exaggerate that effect. If that's the case for you, you wanna do a jacket that's a little bit shorter so that your legs look longer. A workaround is to just tuck in your shirt underneath and show off the waistband or have a waist belt here and that will highlight the legs. The last jacket I wanted to feature as a favorite from 2018 is the Eero Paris leather moto jacket in this beautiful blush tone color. It's not quite pink, it's not quite taupe, it's somewhere between a taupe and a blush. It's beautiful, I love it. It's such a gorgeous neutral, looks great with light colors, looks great in the spring. It's a nice alternative to the regular black jacket in the fall. It's just a beautiful jacket. The leather, the way it's made, the fit. Here is another one that's so wonderful. If you're petite or if you have narrow shoulders and you're looking for something that's really gonna fit your petite body, this jacket is so great. It's a perfect, beautiful fit. I got mine on sale. You know, with these big ticket items, this is one that's so expensive. I try really hard to get them on sale because I just can't really stomach the price. So I would highly recommend like once you zero in on what you want, definitely looking for it on sale and waiting and getting it on sale because you will. You will. I mean, even I got this jacket on sale. Pretty much everything I showed you I got on sale. Here again, you can see it does come up a bit more than that last jacket did. It's a little bit shorter. It's very fitted, which is great. See it nips in at the waist and you can make it tighter at the bottom with these if you wanted to. Okay, now I wanna talk about the coats, or the warmer coats. The first five were jackets and blazers and the next five is going to be coats and jackets that are super warm and really geared for cold, cold weather. So the first piece I wanna talk about is a green faux fur that I bought last year and it's by Kendall and Kylie and it's in this beautiful emerald green and I love it so much. It's so oversized and snuggly and soft. The color is amazing and when I popped into one of the local boutiques here in Telluride and I chatted with the owner, she was saying how she'd been to market and she'd already seen what was ahead for next winter. And the line sheets were like wall to wall, faux fur, faux fur, faux fur, faux fur, faux fur, faux fur, faux fur. Can't say that very fast, can you? Faux fur, wall to wall, faux fur. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that because I think it's important to know if you're gonna make that investment that it will last you a couple seasons and you don't have to worry about it kind of just being a flash in the pan. So trendy, it's gonna disappear in a minute. It's really here to stay for a while. And I think that the coats are becoming more oversized. You may have noticed this already, but you see a lot of cocoon shapes and a lot of these huge oversized faux fur coats. And then you see a lot of these puffers that are taking on their own forms and shapes and they're huge. So you gotta kind of shift your mind a little bit away from a more fitted coat and jacket to something that's a little bit more oversized. And you certainly can have a mix of both and you can't ever go wrong with classics, but I just wanted you to know kind of where the trends are so that you can have that information in the back of your mind. So let's take a look at the green faux fur. I think this green is somewhere between a forest and an emerald and for some reason on camera, it looks really dark but it's not, it's really a beautiful green. It's nicely lined too. 
the next coat or group of coats that I want to highlight are the Sam New York puffers and again if you're a regular viewer you'll remember me talking about these a bunch it's capital S-A-M period New York their puffers are gorgeous they're super modern they're super fun they're functional they're warm they're cool they just are wonderful i think you're really going to love them if you live in a cold climate and you're looking for something just to mix it up a bit you're kind of bored of the collection you have right now you need to add a little bit of fun to the puffer robe <laughs> now that i'm in colorado i can actually have a puffer robe and justify it so the sam new york puffers are so great i have three i have a blue one a midnight blue one I have a black one that's long, so that is something I can wear when it's really cold outside. And then the last one that I have is more of a fun piece, and it's called the Starburst Jacket by Sam New York. And it also comes in a few colors, but I wear this one when I'm skiing. I wear it during the day to run errands in, pick the kids up from school in, go to the grocery store in. So it's just been a heavy hitter for me, but I love to wear it also skiing with my white ski pants and just feels like something different to mix it up, a little bit trendier, a little bit more sporty and fun and playful. So I think you guys, if you haven't already looked at that line, I would definitely take a look at Sam New York. There is a line that's a great dupe for Sam New York. It's called S13. They're not affiliated and for the longest time I thought they were because they look exactly the same. But S13 makes great dupes of Sam New York jackets and coats. So that's just an FYI. <laughs> The next coat I want to highlight is another one that you guys have heard me talking about a bunch and I may have even bought it in 2018 so it's been around for a while and it's my plaid duster coat by Lovers and Friends. I love this coat so much because of the length and the length definitely keeps you warmer but also it layers so beautifully over blazers, it layers over moto jackets, it layers over puffers. If you are wondering how to best layer for severe cold or real winter weather, I did a video on that where I show you step-by-step step how to layer. And so you should check that out and I'll put a link to that in the description box below for you. I think it's really chic, it's really unique, it's different. It's just been really a go-to for me. I've worn it to lacrosse games, I've worn it uh, running errands. I don't wear it skiing, that's for sure. But yeah, I just, a bunch of different things. I just feel like it's a super warm jacket. I can easily grab it, throw it on whatever I have on. Even if it's a bulky sweater, I can throw it on. And I still feel like because it's belted that it has that shape to it. So I don't feel so bulky and oversized. You know how you can feel that way with a big giant puffer on. So I like that about it too. But again, you could layer under it as well. <music> The next warm coat I want to talk about, it's actually a jacket, is by Blank NYC, and it's another faux fur in this beautiful rust brown tone that's very affordable, that's very chic, that's very modern, that's very cool. And I think you guys will really love this one. I've talked a lot about brown being the color of the season and one of the colors of the season. If you did miss that video, I did do a whole video on brown and all of the ways that you can incorporate this old new color back into your wardrobe because it's been gone for a long time. So it's exciting to see that it's back. It's a great alternative to black. It definitely flatters a lot of people's skin tones more so than black. And I also think that it can be just as neutral just as versatile, just as gorgeous, just as chic as black is. So I would highly recommend and suggest embracing the brown tones. So the Blank NYC jacket is one of the pieces that I invested in in 2018 in this color family that I'm really, really happy with. And I think you guys will love it too. Last, but certainly not least, is my reversible faux fur by Velvet. It is something I absolutely love. Every time I put it on, I feel special. It just gives me a little extra pep in my step, and I feel like once you find a piece like that, it is worth holding on to and worth wearing as often as you can, because let's face it, there's not many things that make us feel that way in our wardrobe. I love the versatility of this piece, the fact that it is reversible. One side is faux fur, and the other side is faux suede. I love the gorgeous berry tone. It's such a 
a beautiful, bold, dynamic color and such a great contrast to all the black and gray. And it's just a beautiful piece. And I feel like you do get two in one because of that reversible element to it. It does sell out a lot and then it restocks. A lot of these pieces do that. They sell out and then restock. So I will put a link below and for some reason your size isn't in right now. Don't get discouraged. It may get restocked. So just keep that in mind. Um, but remember I have one more bonus coat I want to show you. So don't go anywhere just yet. And the last coat I wanted to share with you guys is what I think is one of the best values of 2018 and that's this Lands End puffer coat. I have been able to and been fortunate enough to partner with Lands End a few times this year and I am continually impressed by the quality of their pieces and the value, I mean, they're very affordable. So this is a prime example of what I'm talking about. It's an incredibly warm puffer coat. It has a beautiful faux fur lined hood. It comes in a zillion colors. It's warm. And I just wanted to show it to you guys because I know a lot of the pieces that I've featured that were my absolute favorites this year are on the more expensive side. So I wanted to show you what I think are, are one of the pieces that I consider the best value for 2018 for your money. So this coat has the style, it has the function, and it has the super great price <laughs> that I thought you might appreciate. So I wanted to show you that as a bonus coat and remind you about Land's End. So those are my favorite coats and jackets for 2018. Yay! I still have uh, shoes and boots coming up. If you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, if you liked this video, I hope Hope you will subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You guys, just a quick reminder, I am going to be uploading now on Sundays instead of Fridays, so it'll be Wednesday and Sunday. Hope you like that new schedule and I hope it works out okay for you. Let me know if you have any questions about the coats and jackets. I'll put links to everything below like I normally do. With the more expensive ones, I will put dupes for less. I did just do a high-end handbag and dupes for less on the blog. If you're interested in that, I'll put a link to that. You guys may want to pop by and check that out over on Buzz bestyle.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.